Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here one circuit is given here and here having two sources. So one is independent source, another is dependent source. And having three resistors which was connected in series and forming one loop. Now asking that how can you find the voltage drop across 5 ohms that is Vx. How can you find it? This is the problem. So whenever the circuit will be given like this here means having only one loop so at that time k here is very useful so according to k here we know that the sum of all voltage drops in the loop is equal to zero so here the voltage is considered as v1 and here considered as v2 and here v3 and here v4 and here v5 so according to k here we know that the sum of all voltage drops in the loop is equal to 0. So that is plus V2 plus V3 plus V4 that's equal to 0. Now how can you write the voltages? So based upon current direction. So the current direction is in clockwise. So in V1 the entering point of current is at minus. So that's why I take as minus of the voltage. So that is minus V1 is 15. So minus 15. Next in V2 it is a passive component. Take as plus. You don't have any polarity. So here the current is I and in this voltage V2 nothing but according to Ohm's law IR. That is I into R is 1 ohm plus V3. So the current ending point is plus sign. So that's why I take as plus and the voltage will be as 2 into Vx plus V4 that is in resistor take as positive. The current in the resistor is I. So I into R is 5 plus next V5. It also passes the component. The current in the 2 ohms is I and the resistance is 2. It is nothing but voltage at 2 ohms. That's equal to 0. So from this keep as minus 15 as this. So minus 15 plus here 1i plus 5i plus 2i nothing but totally 5i plus 2i 7i plus 1i nothing but 8i plus 2vx that's equal to 0. So here having two variables are there. So how can you write vx in terms of phi? So Vx nothing but voltage drop across 5 ohms. So it can nothing but I R. So I nothing but I R is 5. So 5 I is the voltage across 5 ohms that is nothing but equal to Vx. So Vx equal to 5 I. Now substitute here. Then we get minus 15 plus 8 I plus 2 into Vx nothing but the voltage drop across 5 ohms that is equal to 5i that's equal to 0. So now bring minus 15 on right hand side and add these two terms then we get so here 5 into 2 nothing but 10i 10i plus 8i nothing but 18i so 18i is equal to 15 so by bringing minus 15 to RHS so from this i equal to 15 by 18 3 5 3 6 nothing but current i equal to 5 by 6 but according to problem we want voltage vx but we know the relation between vx and i that is 5i equal to vx so from this we will get vx equal to 5 into i so that is 5 into i we got 5 by 6. So 5 by 25, nothing but 25 by 6. By simplifying this, by using calculator, we will get 4.167 volts. So this is the Vx in the given problem. And this is the way of simplification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.